morning, and we're going to do that with both of our guests here this morning. Skofre is back on the sofa, and Mr. Mm. Akolo is also here from Top Radio. Yeah. Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you, you too. Now, what should we tackle first? The Daily Graphic, perhaps. Deputy ministers named for nine regions mm -hmm. now. There are some new deputy ministers in town. You can read more about them in this morning's Daily Graphic. And MDAs cited for spending above approved budgets. Seven ministries, departments and agencies can't account for almost 435 million Ghana CDs. How is that possible? And they've listed the ministries here. Uh, Ministry of Energy, Tourism, Transport, Youth and Sports, the Electoral Commission, the National Commission for Civic Education, and the National Media Commission. All of these MDAs have overspent, and we don't know why. And President chastises assemblies for misuse of common fund. Those are major headlines on the front page of the Daily Graphic for this morning. Very interesting. Money matters especially. If we look at this report on the MDAs who have overspent and assemblies who are misusing the common fund, what does it tell us about the way we regulate these, these entities and how is it that they're able to overspend so much? And we don't really hear much about it. Nothing's accounted for, nothing's explained to the general public, and yet life goes on as usual. Well, um, I, I think it's, it's one of the bane of mm. this country's development that people are not held accountable for whatever monies we place in their hands. Because um, if we have a system, my brother and I were discussing offset that, I don't, we've never heard that, um, that uh, the chief accountant of Ministry A has been fired for more fees. Mm. We've never heard that the accountant of this district assembly has been fired because of more fees. And they all cover each other. And as a matter of fact, it is you and I, our money that they are spending. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, will, it, it blows mind to come to the terms that money has been spent excess but we cannot account for it I mean it, it, if you put it in, into into logical thinking it does not sink hmm. it's, a, it's about time that the authorities if the president is listening to us it's about time somebody's head must be on the block mm -hmm. if you put the, the the financial director of let's take ministry a or ministry b on, on on a chopping board and he knows that his head is going as for all you know maybe this money was spent regionally this one that we cannot, we're spent in the regions, we're spent in the districts, and it cannot be accounted for. Who is responsible? Who, who, is, who is taxed to make sure that this monies are recouped? Somebody is punished for it. Because it has become the order of the day. Mm -hmm. we, they, they overspent and keep on spending. Today, one of the uh, institutions made a research and said that we are still spending a amount of money on, on ghost names. Who inserts the ghost name? Because before you can apply for a job in a government institution, somebody must append his signature mm -hmm. and says that a, a, a CMSC has been employed here or A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Then that person is not a human being. And at the end of the month, the person's account is cashed. Who mm -hmm. is responsible? Don't, can't we set up what the CIA and the FBI are doing in certain jurisdictions mm -hmm. that we should monitor our own? They, mm -hmm. they set up a biometric system and whatever with their ministry and stuff. It's still not working. Mm -hmm. If they still can insert ghost names into our system, mm -hmm. then, then I don't know where we are going as a country. Seriously. Is it our responsibility mm. as citizenry to because we are the ones who elect people who Most appoint definitely. people yeah so maybe we are the ones who are sitting back and what letting role this can happen. we even play yeah. in, in such a situation because have you ever watched the uh, the parliamentary select committee mm. discussing matters concerning uh, AMA and all other agencies mm -hmm. and there are so many uh, discrepancies that yeah. they, they, they discover but the point is that nobody's brought to book. They only tell them, go back next time, tell your accountant to calculate the things well. Don't do that. I mean, what are we supposed to do? It's so unfortunate. When you look at, you mentioned parliament. We have um, the uh, Public, Public Accounts, Accounts Com Committee. Committee. Yeah. Every year when they come and they sit, we hear all these fine stories and all these mind-blowing stories that people have. And it ends have. there. Mm. Then it just ends there. Mm. You ask yourself, so what's happening to our nation? Um, but at the end of the year or the beginning of the year, the um, minister will come and say, so-so and so happened, we couldn't meet our revenue, this and mm. that and that and that. Meanwhile, we have a lot of money sitting somewhere or going into somebody's pocket, but nobody is taking the tax upon himself to make sure that those little, little amount of money that are going mm. elsewhere is recouped back into the economy. When you, when you look at us, you don't understand the sort of people that yeah, we are. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very sorry to say that, but you don't understand it. Because some of these things are at our fingertips that we can just solve. We, we are a nation of theories. Mm -hmm. You see, we go and we take the PhDs and the LLBs and whatever, but when responsibility is given to us, 
we don't do what should we, we scrutinize the public accounts committee I, I believe that I don't know the law that sets out the public account committee I think that is what must be reviewed and looked at because, because it doesn't give them the power it has to not prosecute. given the power to prosecute mm. or even the power yeah. to say that the police must come in in this yeah. state or the attorney general must come in in this state oh so they're if, only an investigative body they that's, just that's fact what, that finding they, fact but finding they can recommend they can, can they recommend yeah. they, you can the law does not allow them to to, to prosecute or to, to, to give anybody up for, for an arrest. Mm -hmm. Until so that law is amended, because if the people sit and you realize that grossly, yes. negligently, will, willfully, they've cost the nation an amount of money. Mm -hmm. And they will okay, go back and cross check and this and that. And at the end of I the day, we go back to, to, we go for loans outside the country. Some of the money we spent in this country, we go back with caps looking for that same amount of money. It has not made sense yeah. at all. I think okay. they have that power. That yes. is the Public Accounts Committee. They have their power, but they have to set up uh, some kind of uh, council so mm. that immediately after that, the, the people are taking, I don't know what's holding them back from well, we need to investigate either. that. We yeah. do, because especially... I, I, I know for a fact that they don't have the, the, the power to prosecute. To prosecute. And it was but something that they were, they were, they were, they were, they were working out for. The last time when Kandapa was speaking, mm. he was like, well, he wishes that he had that power to take a certain action against some organization yeah. that came before them. Mm. But it was, it was kind of difficult. There was nothing he could have done. So well, just speaking of money that we need mm. to take care of issues, there's a small little tagline here. No upward adjustment in tariffs, PURC. Public Utilities Regulatory Commission says they're not going to, uh, for now at least, increase tariffs, mm. even though... But the point does is tariffs to rise 25%. Who, who knows who's telling the mm. truth mm. here? But mm. the thing is, okay, no upward adjustment now. We have many issues. Um, mm. or our utility companies are saying they don't have enough money to make the improvements that they need, so they want to increase the tariffs. I'm saying, if the system is going to work, if everything is going to be fixed properly, I probably wouldn't mind paying more. But the problem is we keep saying, well, let's pay a bit more, let's pay a mm. bit more and things don't get better, they actually seem to be getting worse. So is an upward adjustment really going to solve the problem anyway? Well, I, I, I really don't agree with them because um, it, it has been a ritual. Any time mm. an institution runs to a loss, they push the burden onto the ordinary people. It does not make sense. If you go and check most of these institutions or this uh, establishment, when they are running training workshops, where do they sleep? Golden Tulip, uh, La Palm Royal Beach, whatever. They will be paid uh, sleeping allowance, risk allowance, mm -hmm. whatever allowance. It's the same company that they claim they are running bankrupt, but yet they are able to finance uh, such, some Luxuries. of these facilities. And we pay for those staff. Mm -hmm. Your system are not working when the money comes, you need to run workshop uh, uh, foreign trainees. And when you come back, you don't give us uh, that value for our money. Mm -hmm. So you cannot come back to me to ask for more money when you don't render the kind of service I desire or I deserve. So I agree with the PURC that no tariffs must be increased. It's about time they give us their word. Okay, mm -hmm. we have the system in place. This is how we've got. We've solved our part of the problem 60%. The next will be up to your payment to top it up to make it 100% to have the best of lighting system, water system, whatever. But until then, they should leave as the public alone. So where are they going to get the funding to fix all of these issues? If they're saying they don't have the money, we are identifying that mm. there's wastage all over the place that yeah. probably could be accumulated, but it's going to take forever. Could so in the meantime... They have actually done this before. I remember very well in 2001, mm -hmm. they increased tariffs by 300%. Mm. And what they, want, they said to us was that they wanted to give us excellent services. Oh. <laughs> and so everybody was happy that they had increased it to 300%. From there on till now, They've been increasing it yeah. gradually, consistently, and all that. We don't get to do anything. Now there was a publication in one of the newspapers, I think about two or three years ago, and it's, it's enumerated all the, the companies, or chronicle the number of companies that owed ECG. Mm. Huge companies, Huge. ones that we know, a lot of them in Club 100 and mm. all. Mm. Why can't we collect such money? It seems Charles. simple, but... You just don't understand. But uh, for me, I think it's a bad timing if they are thinking of any upward adjustment. <laughs> this is not the time. It's simply not the time because <laughs> look at it. We are having, I mean, we are having this doom so doom so. Let me mm -hmm. borrow that word. And it's giving people a hell of a time right, with yeah. their gadgets and all those things. So this is not the time for you. You need to fix the problem first. Before They're still you claiming that they need to increase it so they can... That is what the story says. says. Whatever they, they have to do, man, they should go for their money. What is preventing them? I don't know. Because like you said, it was true. Yeah. If, if they open up people who owe ECG, <laughs> companies that owe ECG, club 100 companies that owe ECG. They're even and saying government. When they go and they give the yes. little tape, then they go government and send back. Government industries and About 600 million or so. They should go to government, government, give them their money. You see, we cannot... You think they should cut their supply, their yes. service? Just yes. cut it off? If, if just like if, they would if, do if to any of us if we didn't pay our bills. Just about um, a year or 
two ago, uh, Professor Mills was saying that they were going to fix um, prepaid, uh, prepaid meters. meters and all those things. What happened to those things? Somebody the is stalling the ECG that. Is stalling and those it. people are that serious movie. about um, collecting their mm. monies and going on with their work. Then I think that they should go there, take their money and fix those and prepaid meters. Yes. And then also these two stories might be uh, reconciled. PRC <laughs> is saying that um, they are not going to do what. Right. And then uh, these people said 25%. Yeah. But the last time I heard the spokesperson of the PURC, mm. she was saying that the request hasn't come to them. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, so it means that if the request comes, 